Guys, check this beast out. Man, I'm excited about this one. Brian, roll that montage and let's kick this one off. So I will tell you, it's no TRX. The TRX is ridiculously fast, right? It will throw you back in your seat. Uh, this thing does have plenty of power, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's definitely not gonna come across as the fastest truck. I would actually say the Ford Raptor, especially the R, and it's gonna be a whole lot level, it's gonna be a whole level of performance more than this, but I would say that is on par with the regular EcoBoost Raptor for sure. Yeah, yeah so this is gonna be map two. Map two? Yep, and okay. we're actually gonna be switching to map three. And so yeah. now we're in map three, we got five pounds of boost added on top of the factory. All right, so here's map three, okay? Let's go ahead and give it a full, you ready guys? Yeah, you actually do feel that. That's 78. Wow. <laughs> That's got a little more get up and go, doesn't it? Welcome back to Driven Productions. My name's Adam. Really honored to have you here. Now, if you're new to my channel, we really focus on elevated reviews, guys. And if you watch this entire review and you're looking to make an informed buying decision, I'm telling you, you're going to learn a lot of consciousness about this incredibly cool 2023 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. Now this is in solar octane. Guys, this truck is amazing in my eyes. Look at it, it looks so good. You know, Toyota had 14 years where the Toyota Tundra was pretty much the same and now they've restyled it. And I don't know about you, but I think it looks really good. Now a couple of little elephants in the room before we get into it. Alex, the owner, has personalized the hood graphic here on the front. He's added a couple little touches here. He's added 37 inch tires. He's also added a Burger Industries, uh, I think it's a tune. It puts a little bit more power into this thing. Now from the factory, this thing makes 437 horsepower and 583 foot pounds of torque. Now how it does that is it's a V6 twin turbo power plant with a hybrid with it. It's so a little bit more than the Ford Raptor, which we have spotlighted. I'll go ahead and throw that on here. And it's obviously not as much as the Ram TRX, which we've also reviewed. I'll throw a link to that here next. All right, guys. Well, let's launch a TRX, shall we? That's kind of unbelievable. <laughs> but that's a pretty good amount of power and allows this big truck to go to 60 in 5.7 seconds. Now with the tune, it's actually running quite a bit more power. It actually boosts it up about another five foot pounds. Uh, so we're talking, uh, well not excuse me, five foot pounds, but you know, five pounds of boost. So we're talking, you know, maybe 500 horsepower here and probably 630 uh, torque levels and you can't even boost that up more. I'll show a clip right now where Alex talks about the tune and what you can do in the phone app. So Burger Motorsports had made a good um, tune for this truck that I picked up. It was like 600 bucks. Mm -hmm. It's got a Bluetooth adapter that you can hook to your cell phone, download it in the you know iPhone app. Okay. And it allows you to really kind of run the map settings um, right here from your cell phone. Cool. So I'm able and to it's all adjustable, huh? It is, yeah. So they have preset maps, um, like map zero, that's back to stock. Map, map one is, you know, adds a little bit of boost map two so it's another 3.5 over correct and this is so this is five pounds of boost this is 8.5 yeah this is up to four and a half and then map three um, which is a minimum of 93 octane 
um, gives you an extra five PSI. Is there an ethanol setting on there it? There is. So okay. everything from MAP4 up, um, you can do. And if you were to do more mods and you wanted to run E85, then you can get with Burger Motorsports with their support team and they'll they'll put the tune together for you. Wow, and so does it have a flex fuel sensor built in? Um, it does, and they actually are cool. in the R&D phases of it now to be able to determine what the E85 content is gonna be in the fuel. And all oh that. yeah, man. Yeah, man, it's pretty solid. That is awesome. Yeah, and so, you know, when the truck's running, and we'll look at it here in a little bit, you'll be able to see it all, right? Um, it's pretty cool too, because we can actually change what you know, you could really kind of customize the design on the app itself. Yeah, the UI looks nice. Yeah, and so everything has been, you know, really good. Um, haven't had any issues, haven't clicked any lights. Cool. Man, it's just, it's awesome. It makes a huge difference. Rock and roll. Coming back here to the exterior, guys, I think this is one of the best looking trucks on the market right now. I really like it. I just like that it's not a Raptor. You know, you see Raptors all over the place, but you see this thing out in the road, it really stands out. I love what they've done with the new restyle. Uh, pretty much, they've restyled a lot of the elements here. I'm not gonna go through everything, but you've got nice running lights built in. So this comes on when you have the brights on. You've also got lights down here as well. Just a really menacing look to this front end. Final wrap from the factory here, so they kind of put this on and it breaks here. The owner actually wants to go ahead and extend that all the way here through the top just to give it a little bit more of a better look, he says. And coming here to the rear, you know, again, really handsome looking truck, big old TRD Pro logo in the back, nice running lights back here as well, so it can stay DOT legal. You know, if you're not familiar with this particular truck, you push this button right here. Now, one thing I don't like about this is you have no step up, right? You also have no frills back here. So like the Fords of the world, you know, they have little tape measures built in. You also have a lot more kind of accessories and things you can plug into. However, you still get a pretty solid bed here. You get a five and a half foot bed with the TRD Pro. You know, he's got this upgrade here. And then of course he's got the bed liner extender, which is super, super helpful. Quite a bit of practicality back here. You've got the bed liner, you've got the lights, and you can see right here, you've also got the ability to do a 120 volt outlet. So if you've got some tools or whatnot, but it's not as cool as the lightning. The lightning has uh, you know, other things, not as cool as the Rivian with the PSI machine. There's a few things that this truck could have that some of the other manufacturers uh, you know, do, uh, like the Rivians of the world, um, like the Ford Lightnings of the world. I don't think you can run a 240 outlet back here either. Uh, so if you've got some heavier machinery. But overall, guys, I like a lot of the exterior. I like a lot of the functionality of this thing. And uh, I just think it looks amazing. Let's talk a little bit about this power plant. Because I know if you're a truck guy, the engine's important. And you know, I was just talking to Alex, the owner. And it's funny. It's like as a consumer now, we've just accepted a hybrid power plant, right? I mean, for most guys, I bet you they're turned off by this truck because they don't offer a V8. It's the only manufacturer that has a half ton that doesn't offer a V8, which is kind of interesting. But I gotta say, this thing punches above its weight class, especially with the Burger Motorsports JB4 tune. Now, that, that particular tune allows you to really boost this thing up, but even from the factory, you get 437 horsepower and 587 foot-pounds of torque. Guys, that's pretty solid. Interesting that with the hybrid power plant, this thing is supposed to get 19 miles to the gallon. You can actually run in hybrid mode when you're at stoplights and just kind of gently cruising on the highway or gently cruising on a back road. I'm gonna show and try to demonstrate that a bit in our point of view drive. Overall though, I mean, the EcoBoost is a V6, right? It's not, it's not the TRX if you want the 6.2 liter Hemi supercharged engine that goes to 60 in the, in the mid three second range, that's not this but that's also gonna get like nine to 10 miles a gallon, right? So you're getting double the fuel economy with this. You can still tow 12,000 pounds. I know the F-150 can tow 14,000 pounds. I know the F-150 can have almost 4,000 pounds in the back, whereas this can have like two. It's actually not 4,000, it's like 3,600, but still it's more. So it's a little heavy duty of a truck. But again, I think for majority of people, this is gonna be plenty of towing capacity, plenty of back storage capacity and weight capacity and all that good stuff. All right, guys, we're in the interior of the new Tundra TRD Pro. I got to say, this thing is packed with a lot of amazing features. So you've got your rear diff right here. This is one of the, my, my handy features. On this new 14-inch screen here, you can see there's a 360 camera. You can also change the color of the truck here, which is pretty neat. And you also have some additional views. I thought that was really a nice feature to show. It definitely helps with parking. Uh, you've got your tow assist, which comes standard here as well. There is no knob like Ford gives you, though. Your front screen is a full TFT to screen, so they got rid of any analog gauges. You do have quite a few buttons on the steering wheel here as well to help you out. 
here's your Distronic Cruise. You can adjust your speakers and volume and all that jazz here. Toggle the different menus here as well. Uh, can you change the look of that screen? You can't well. change the actual look of the screen, but what you can do is change like the sub menus on the side, right? So right. you can show your audio, you can show your navigation, um, but your cluster is actually going to stay the same. Uh, the only time like that gauge changes is yeah, if you were to change it into a drive mode. Yeah. So if we were to go into like Eco, for instance, uh, then the look of that gauge would, would change. Okay. I see. Uh-huh. There it is. All right. Got you. This new 14-inch screen is great. I know it's going to show up a little weird on camera with the flickering and stuff, but it's very, very responsive. You do have Apple CarPlay built in, which is super nice. Some of these, some of these cars today still don't have it, like the Teslas of the world. And uh, the AC works great. You have big, large vents here. Um, really, really like the fact that you can open this up and you have a full moonroof here as well. That's a lot of great light in. You have two cup holders here, two cup holders here. You have USB wireless charging here. You also have USB-Cs in this right here. You also have a safe here for the pistols of the world. And uh, you can see some additional charging points here. So lots of storage, lots of practicality. Um, now you don't get the ability to have that folding thing that Ford gives you, which is kind of nice if you want to do docks, but uh, overall you're going to find the interior of this truck to be really practical. Now the seats are also great, so I want to talk about that next. Take a look at these seats guys. These new TRD Pro seats are really comfortable. They're great for larger people. Uh, you've got this nice textured look to them, perforated, they're heated and they're cooled. These are some high quality seats, they're fully adjustable. You've got lumbar support here, up and down forwards and back you don't get any hip right here adjustment but overall I think these are some of the you know really good quality seats I like that they put the uh, the pro logo in here and you can also see on the rear here that carries through to the back yeah I wanted to share underneath the truck with you guys for a second here it's very impressive this is a nice metal TRD pro skid plate you can see your Fox shocks here and your beefed up sway bar very very impressive looking truck from underneath you get plenty of ground clearance here Another thing I wanted to cover guys is the gas tank here. So the gas tank is 32 gallons and with this thing getting a roughly 19 miles a gallon stock, you have a hell of a, a range on this truck. So this makes you know long trips to the beaches of the world really handy. Uh, I got to also say that you can run regular fuel with this truck. However, if you're going to do the tune like Alex has done here and you're boosting it up with more you know, pressure, you're gonna to wanna to need to, you're gonna to need to run 93, but this thing can run on regular 87, so that'll additionally save you quite a bit of money. So this truck is about $75,000, and with Alex, he's got the extra five grand with the upgrades, right? So you're getting close to 80, but it's still about seven to eight grand less than the Raptor. So if you get a black Raptor, black interior, right, you're talking about an $80,000 truck, tow package is extra, they check a lot of extra boxes, right? All right, guys, we're in the new Tundra TRD Pro on throttle here sounds great i mean unbelievable that this is a six cylinder it sounds like an eight. a really throaty sound to it very easy to drive I truly butter i mean you could drive this as easily with two fingers it's not exactly a one finger drive it's a little bit more weighted than the ford is um, but at the end of the day very nice you sit up really high very commanding view of everything this has the 37 inch wheels, which of course adds to that. You also hear a little bit of wheel noise, but nothing too bad. Uh, the 10 speed's pretty smooth. I will say at slow speeds, it clunks a little bit more than I was expecting, but overall I still give it pretty darn high marks. Uh, we're gonna be coming up here to an area where I can go ahead and give it some fuel and uh, we'll see how it downshifts and how it sounds. But first impressions, I like it a lot. I just like the way the throttle feels. I like the response of the hybrid power plant. It just always feels like it has plenty of torque and plenty of get up and go. And that's not even using the turbochargers, right? Not really spooling it. Getting on the brakes there a little bit. Nice progressiveness, very bitey initially. Nothing crazy, uh, but I will say, I think the brakes are more than adequate for the size and weight of the truck. And uh, just overall, I mean, this this is this is a nice place to be. I really think the seat's comfortable. Overall, I, I, I like it a lot. I mean, I think if you're looking for a really good daily driver, uh, you're looking for something that, you know, is very capable and a little different on the road, I mean, I think these things are gonna sell like crazy. And I would highly recommend you, you do some of these upgrades. I think Alex absolutely nailed it for five grand. This thing is, uh, is a really good looking truck. Got a little bit more get up and go. 
Uh, you really just can't beat it. Now, it doesn't come with any driver technology, is that right? No, it does. It has your adaptive cruise control, your blind spot monitoring, your forward collision warning, um, all that standard. That's the Toyota technology pack, and that's standard in the TRD Pro. Does it come with self-driving, though? Any, any like, uh, Blue Cruise, for example? It, it, it does have. It's not going to be as advanced as Blue Cruise or Super Cruise, okay. um, but essentially it's all adaptive cruise control, right? And it's a lane keep assist system. Um, they, and I think they just, what they did is they trademarked a name and people just think it's more than what it is. But essentially, adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist is your super cruise. Okay, so on the highway, will it steer itself? It will. It will. will. keep itself in lane. Okay, does it require you, okay, let's, we're going to take it on the highway. This, this road will connect us back to 840 and then I, I want to demonstrate that for you. I will tell you, if you're looking at getting a modern truck, the Rivian R1T does an incredible job self-steering, right? Uh, the Blue Cruise does a really good job with Ford. The Raptor actually drove itself on the highway. It was, it worked great. Uh, and that's a really big reason why you're going to want to upgrade, guys, from an older truck to a new truck. Because when you're taking those long trips down to Florida or whatever you got to tow to the lake and you're on those long highway stretches, it's just really nice when you can actually, you know, let the truck drive itself. It's going to significantly reduce your fatigue, especially in traffic and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give that a test for you. I think it's important. I mean, you know, as we roll through some of these turns, I mean, the truck feels very planted, even with these 37s. Uh, really nice waiting through the steering wheel. Now, what mode are we in right now? Um, right now, we are in sport mode. Okay, so uh, this is full beans, yeah? Yeah, this is like there. Heavies it gets, okay. Yep, and that's... So can we turn it off and make it a little bit less? So, All right, there's okay. normal. All right, that's normal. Let me see how the normal feels. So this, this is, the steering does lighten up a little bit. Power still feels pretty good. Feels yeah, the good. response is there. Feels good, okay. And let's try Eco here. All right, so now Eco. So steering doesn't change. Now I'm trying to get it to go into hybrid mode here. So the engine is currently off, guys. You, you wouldn't even know it, that's incredible. So the engine's off. I'm giving it, I'm giving it acceleration right now. Engine's still off. Okay, so a little more than a quarter throttle to kick back on. So the hybrid power plant, I think if you really want to butter it right, uh, you probably could keep that engine off. But for most of your driving, you're probably going to have a lot of the V6 engine, you know, engaged. Uh, that's not like the Range Rover we just reviewed with the, the PHEV, the plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, right? I mean, that thing, you literally can drive that thing 50 miles in complete EV mode. This is more of that standard hybrid power plant, right? Where you're always gonna be using the electric and the gas powered engine, which is fine um, in the end of the day. So right now though, we are just cruising as we're stuck behind this Honda and you can see the engine's off. I'm conserving fuel. I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a little bit of throttle. Engine's still off. So I could keep it at 40, oh, it kicked back on, okay. It's pretty hard, actually, I think, to drive this thing, frankly, in full e you know, EV mode or hybrid mode, uh, even, even in eco. I mean, I just gave it just a little bit of gas, and it, it, it popped on. But again, I think uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and check that out on the highway. We'll cruise it at 70, and I'm curious how it transitions from engine on, engine off. It is very smooth, though, to be honest with you. I really think they did a great job with the 10-speed uh, transmission and just making sure that the hybrid and the engine, I mean, I honestly don't even notice when it comes on and off. Uh, so right now, the engine just went off, and you wouldn't even notice it. Uh, I've, I've been in uh, systems and, and vehicles that are far more uh, obtrusive when it comes to switching between the modes. Um, this one, on the other hand, just did a great job. So hats off to you, Toyota. You know, I mean, the, it, and it's nice to have the hybrid, guys. Don't get me wrong. I mean, 19 miles a gallon in a truck this size, I mean, that's, if, if you can get it, that's significantly better. I mean, the EcoBoost is going to be around 15, and, of course, the TRX, if you're lucky, you may be able to get 12 or 13 out of that thing. And that adds up. And I also like that, you know, if you don't go ahead and do the tune and whatnot, you can go ahead and run it on 87. That alone is going to save you hundreds of dollars a year. It's, it's not the fastest truck in the world, but it's got it where it counts. It's got plenty of torque. And it's fun to drive. I mean, I just gave it full throttle there, and that was in eco mode, and it, and it felt great. Going back here to sport mode. There, we're on the brakes there. Like, I really think overall, guys, just to kind of sum up the uh, at least the driving experience here, 
Uh, it drives great. Um, does it drive as good as the, the Ford? Hmm. I will say, I think the Ford has really dialed in the transmission on the Gen 3s. Uh, I think this drives better than the Gen 2s and definitely better than the Gen 1s. I had a Gen 1, I couldn't stand that transmission. Uh, never felt like it was in the right gear. Uh, the TRX, I think this actually drives better than the TRX in most ways. The TRX had a single clutch, uh, very, very jerky when you're really on it. You definitely notice when that thing shifted. When you're just buttering around on this thing, I think you really will enjoy the driving experience. The way it shifts through the gears, it's, it, you barely notice it. It's only when you're in those low RPMs, you're just kind of you know, slowly coasting around town is when you're gonna notice uh, the transmission shifting. All right, guys, I wanna make a note here. We do have the Destrada Cruise on and we have the lane keep set, but this vehicle will not self-drive in the lane for you. So if I go ahead and take my foot off the pedal here and off the wheel, it'll steer me back in the lane but it's not self-driving. I'm gonna look like a drunk idiot, right? So you're gonna to have to keep your hands on the wheel most, most of the time. You can see it's, it's steering over, but it's not like keeping you perfectly in the lane, right? So that's a big feature that this truck doesn't have, that the Raptor had, and the TRX does not have it, the Rivian, the R1T has it. So if you're looking to buy a modern truck, I, I highly encourage you to understand and and drive those trucks so that you you can you know if, if you like the idea of being able to take a 7 8 10 12 hour trip and not have to drive yourself the whole time which i like trust me i've got a tesla i let it drive all the time it is wonderful it is such an incredible feature uh it'd be very hard for me to go back to a daily driver where i had to keep my hands on the wheel all the time now when you're off the road, the Rivian R1T and the Raptor, they don't do a fantastic job of, you know, ultimately driving. So in the end of the day, it's mostly for the highway systems of the world, but I'm okay with that, you know. Uh, now, otherwise, I really have no negatives on the driving experience. I, I just like the way it feels. I love the low-end torque. I love the, the hybrid and just the overall power plant, how seamless it is. I give this thing very, very high marks overall. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna just demonstrate uh, how you change it. So you got two high, four high. So that puts it in four-wheel drive mode, yes? Yep. All right. You definitely know when you're in four-wheel drive mode. So it, it changes up the characteristics of the drive, for sure, when the front wheels are activated. It's a little heavier on the front here. You definitely feel it's pulling, huh? Yeah. 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 They, you know when they when they did a video on this too, and they had it four wheel high. They... Really? Yeah. Um, then you have four low. So you know, do you ever use four high in the rain or? No. I mean, yeah. And you're probably not gonna take this off road that much. Such a all. such a nice truck. Yeah. You know? I know. I know there's reviews of guys jumping these and all that. This is more of a, an on-road review. And, and frankly, let's be honest, if you're gonna, if you got the money to spend seventy-five, eighty thousand dollars on this truck, you're probably not gonna be the guy that beats it up off-road. Uh, there's plenty of amazing vehicles you could buy that uh, give you that capability for far less money. Uh, this is definitely for the, uh, you know, the two percent. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'd say. But I like it, man. I like the way it drives in four-wheel drive even. So I'm gonna take this turn real quick and uh, give it the beans real quick and uh, as we head back to the neighborhood and kind of see how it feels. I do think this thing gets a lot of attention. I can see people looking at it. Yeah, I mean, it pulls good in four-wheel drive still. Quite impressive, actually. Typically, four-wheel drive does not give you as much performance, uh, but it feels great. Let me just sum this one up for you as a conclusion. You know, after 14 years, the Toyota's Tundra has been restyled. Look, I think this is a really, really good job. I gotta be honest, I really like this thing. I like that it's not an F-150, and there's nothing against the F-150s of the world, all right? Don't get me wrong, they're an incredible product. In a lot of ways, they beat them at their own game, right? Better towing. Uh, you could say that uh, looks wise, apples to apples, but I really think that for what the Japanese have created here, they've done an incredible job. I really like this truck. I like that it's different. It has a great road presence to it. I love solar octane. I love the hybrid power plant. It's quiet. 
it's refined, it switches modes very easily, it's got plenty of power as you see in the POV drive, right? We launched the truck, I mean, it really, it really cooks, guys. This thing moves. I think you're gonna get a lot of use out of this thing. I like the interior, I like the new screen, I love just so many aspects of this truck. Now, obviously, we didn't do an off-road review. I've seen reviews. This thing is very, very capable. In the end of the day, I don't think you can go wrong. The only negative is it's $70,000, $75,000 and probably going to go up every year from here, right? I don't see this thing going down. So these things are probably going to be $80,000 trucks real soon. If you can get one uh, and you just want something a little different on the road, I give you the endorsement. I think this is a great product and uh, I think Alex made a great choice. This specific spec especially, it's just a good looking thing. Thanks for watching guys. If you're interested, go ahead and subscribe. Appreciate you watching and we will catch you on the next one.